I am so excited to share with you guys one of my very, very favorite places in the whole world. I am up here today at Brian Head, Utah. It's about 35 miles outside of Cedar City. It is an amazing resort and we are so lucky to have it in this area. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Brian Head Resort offers Utah's greatest snow on earth with annual average snowfall of nearly 360 inches and Utah's highest base elevation at 9,600 feet. The peak elevation is nearly 11,000 feet at the top of Giant Steps. There's over 650 acres of available terrain, 71 runs, and snow tubing. In the summertime, you'll find all kinds of events and festivals, along with a mini zip line, lots of mountain biking, tons of hiking, an alpine slide, and more. One of the most interesting parts of Brian Head's history is its name. Brian Head was originally known as Monument Peak and was used by early surveyors and expedition leaders as a point of reference. One story claims that the famous explorer John Wesley Powell saw the peak above all the others and named it after an official in the Geographical Survey Office by the name of Brian. Another story claims that the residents of Parowin changed the name in 1890 to Brian Head in honor of the American politician William Jennings Brian Head. To be honest, no one really is sure how Brian Head got its name. But Brian Head Resort was opened in the winter of 1964, and then 10 years later, the town of Brian Head was established in the area surrounding the resort. The resort grew from one chairlift operation to a complete resort, offering skiing, snowboarding, tubing, night skiing, dining, mountain biking, and hiking. With dozens of activities, scenic beauty, and pristine mountain air, it's easy to see why Brian Head Resort has become a destination for adventure and relaxation. There are many options for staying and purchasing in Brian Head. Everything from a studio condo to a luxurious cabin in the mountains. So many different opportunities in Brian Head. There are ski in, ski out cabins and condos, and also things that are a little more remote and a little more private. It just depends on what you like. There is a robust overnight rental market in Brian Head. So a lot of people who want to purchase in the area are able to make a little bit of income as well by renting out their condos or cabins when they're not using them. There are condos and cabins with a wide variety of amenities. There's hotel-like condos where you've got a swimming pool, maybe a spa, maybe a rec room on site. And there's also cabins that offer some of those amenities as well.